Hello everyone, it's Kara with Pre-Employment Transition Services. This week's lesson is a video. We're going to be reviewing some of the things that we've learned throughout the year. One thing we did look at is a job exploration of a janitor and some of the tasks that he does. So we're going to review that. We're also going to get to watch my friend Pat uh, clean a table and he's going to tell how he has dealt with some mistakes and frustration. Let's do a review on our job exploration. We actually explored the job of janitor. Now janitors work to keep schools, offices, libraries, and hospitals clean and maintained. They are often asked to work outside of normal business hours, sometimes early in the morning or late at night, so the building can be cleaned properly. Janitors have many different tasks, which may include general cleaning, vacuuming or sweeping and mopping floors, cleaning and stocking restrooms, ensure doors are locked after hours. They also clean up spills with the appropriate equipment, perform minor repairs, collect and dispose of trash, and keep cleaning supplies in stock. Okay. Let's see what you know. What is an item a janitor might use on the job? Is it an oven, a mop, or a candle? Which one do you think it is? If you chose the mop, you are correct. One of the tasks a janitor has is clean tables. Now, my friend Pat's going to show you how to clean a table. He does a really good job. He's also going to explain making mistakes and when you get frustrated and how to deal with that. Let's watch Pat. so glad we're back together again. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we have an important job to do. Sometimes doing a job is really easy. Sometimes doing a job is really hard. But remember, when we have a job to do, we do our best. Alright, today our job is to wipe things clean. What do you think we should use to wipe things clean? Should we use a washcloth, a piece of paper, or a slice of bread? We should use a washcloth to wipe things clean. You're right. We need to clean things that get dirty. Do you know what it means when something is dirty? If you look closely enough with the right tools, you can see germs on dirty things. Germs are gross because they can make people sick. That's why we need to clean things that get dirty. Today, our job is to clean the counter. But first, we need our cleaning supplies. There are two cleaning supplies that we need. We need a washcloth, and spray. I keep those things under my sink. Let's go get them. Here we are under my sink. Let's grab the washcloth and the spray. One, one, two, 
Excellent job cleaning the table. I liked the way Pat, when he made a mistake and got frustrated, he took three deep breaths to calm down. That's a good idea. So, let's look at your turn. There at school, you can clean many tables to help your teacher out. Get your supplies and ask your teacher to help you. Today, we've reviewed what a janitor does and we looked at the specific task of cleaning a table. We also looked at how to deal with frustration when you make mistakes. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you next week. Bye.